Hey, have you heard of a Juicy Lucy? Well, Minneapolis can't, claims to be the birthplace of the Juicy Lucy. In fact, two bars there, I, I think, fight over who invented it. Uh, I've been to one of those bars, and it is definitely a good burger. Uh, but if you don't know what it is, it's a couple of uh, burger patties with the cheese on the inside, so a cavity of molten cheese. Uh, and it is known as the Juicy Lucy. Uh, since it was uh, invented supposedly in Minneapolis, a lot of places around the country have their own version and today we're gonna do the Buckeye barbecue version. It's gonna be simple and it should be really good. So thanks for tuning in and we'll get her started. Okay, so we have three of the four Juicy Lucy's made. Uh, we'll do the fourth one together here. Uh, so I've just got a Ziploc bag and it's got a burger mold in it. Uh, this makes it easier. It isn't required, but it definitely makes it easier. You could certainly form all these by hand by doing a, a couple of thinner patties with the cheese in the middle. So what we're gonna do is take one patty and drop it in our burger mold. I only have the plastic bag here just because it makes it easier to get it out in the end and, and just makes everything easier. You don't have to have that either. I'm just gonna put a piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna use my press that's got the, uh, it's got the indention on this particular one. Again, it just makes it easier. And then you'll notice when we pull the parchment paper off, that we have a burger with kind of a well there. So I'm gonna take the cheese, and I am a big American cheese fan for burgers. Um, you know, I like all kinds of cheese. You probably have noticed that on my channel if you've been around a while. But for burgers, there's no cheese like American. And I just squared it up and put it in the uh, um, middle of the well there. And then I'm gonna take my other patty, these are quarter pound patties, so it's actually gonna make kind of big uh, juicy Lucy's, but that's all right, why not? And I'm just gonna mold it in there and then open up the uh, bag and push out the double patty with the cheese in the middle. So then I'm just gonna use my hands, kind of form it together there, pinch it in places, just to make sure that seal is good. And just go around the whole thing. It's something I did with all of these already. So they are ready to go. And so I'm just gonna move this cutting board out of the way there and take off one of my gloves. And I just have a cookie sheet that I'm going to place all of the patties on and just cover them with plastic wrap and get them in the refrigerator. I'm not cooking these for a little while. Actually having a little time to set up will help your burgers stay together and keep that cheese inside. So there we go. We'll get these back in the fridge and we will bring you back uh, when we cook these. Okay, so we're gonna cook these today on our flat top griddle, which is heating up as we speak. I'm gonna have uh, one side on high and one side on, on medium to medium low, um, just to make sure I have a couple of different ranges of temperature. Um, in order to uh, season these today, we're gonna use uh, Killer Hogs uh, Steak Rub. This is good on all kinds of beef. Uh, it's not quite as coarse as like a Montreal seasoning, but it has the same flavors, which I think are really good and great on burgers. So I'm gonna do one side of these. And then flip them over and do the other side. You just pat that in a little bit. All right, now we'll do the other side. I've got the cast iron griddle top really well seasoned, so it should be good to go. I don't think I've ever done a video with this cooker, so looking forward to this. Should cook these up nicely. 
hoping I have these sealed so we don't lose any of the internal cheese. Um, but they'll be good either way. All right, so we're going to let the griddle continue to heat up, and then we will bring you back and get these to cooking. Okay, so we're going to get our burgers on. One thing I love about this flat top griddle is the vented lid that it has. So it's got a vent right here that you can open and close. I'm going to use this as part of the burger cooking process. And it actually has got a hanger that you can hang it on the side. So I've got the right side at the higher temperature. So I'm just going to put these burgers on. Great sound. There we go. So we're just going to let those go. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on so they can uh, uh, cook all around while the downside is searing. And then we'll come back and we'll flip these. So we'll bring you back. Okay. These are smelling great. There's something about the burgers developing that crust on a flat top griddle. So we're going to check and see about flipping them. All right. Could have gone a little longer on that side, but that's okay. We're going to probably have to keep flipping these anyway. That one's a little better. So is that one. So I think I missed the hot spot on this one up here, so I'm going to move that up just a little bit. And we'll get the lid back on. And we'll let these go another two minutes. I did let them go two minutes on the first side. So we'll let them go another two minutes, and then we will flip them again and maybe move them over to the cooler side. So we'll be back. Okay, we're at another two minutes here. Let's see how our Juicy Lucy's are faring. Looking good. Patty, patties are separating a little bit more than I would like. I'm always afraid of that. It's hard to get them perfect, but they still look and smell delicious. I'm going to move these now to the cooler side of the griddle. I'm going to keep that one, move it to the hotter spot, and let it crisp up a little bit more on each side, and then move it to the cooler side. As far as the temperature that I'm cooking these at, or two, um, I love medium rare on beef, but burgers, I like to be a little more done. Uh, we all do at our house. So I'm going to try to take these up into the 140 range. I'm not even that worried about them being that pink inside. Um, so that's kind of the way we roll here, but you do you. You can pull your burger off whenever you want. Okay, so we're going to get our buns on the griddle and let them start toasting. I'm afraid that uh, we might have a Juicy Lucy fail here. I think I'm losing a lot of the cheese out of the inside, which is disappointing. But I guess it'll just mean we have to try Juicy Lucy's again sometime. They'll still taste good. So I try to keep it real here on Buckeye Barbecue. So we will... Uh, See how these turn out. I think either way they'll taste good, but I'm not going to get my molten cheese like I wanted, I don't think. So, again, keeping it real. We will be back. We'll take these off and we'll lunch. Okay, so our burgers are up to temperature. They smell great. The buns toasted nicely. I am definitely, I uh, think, going to be disappointed in the juicy looseiness of these, but I still think they're going to be great burgers so hope you can see that it smells awesome but we're going to get these in on the cutting board we're going to build burgers and we'll try one it's hard to do a better burger than on a flat top griddle though that's for sure 
So we will see you inside. Okay, so we've got our burger we're gonna build here. Got our buns toasted up. It's worth the effort to go ahead and toast the buns. Makes them so much better. Got a little cheese leakage there. Again, I might have failed on the juicy Lucy portion of this. I still think the burger's gonna be great. It'll just give me an excuse to try again. So we will find out. I'm sort of a, a plain burger type guy. I really love plain burgers. Uh, I, I like pickles and onions and lettuce and tomatoes sometimes, but there's something about a plain burger that I really love too. So that's the way we're doing tonight's burger. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this in half and we'll see how we did. Well, we definitely got some juicy looseiness. Okay, so those look really good. Uh, if you can see the cheese dripping out of there, I didn't have quite as big a fail as I thought. I am going to keep experimenting with these, but uh, these do look really good. Um, so these are messy enough that uh, I might need to try these on camera just so I can submit them to America's Funniest Home Videos and maybe win $10,000. So let's do that. I'll be right All right, back. so here we go. We're gonna try our Juicy Lucy burger here. So again, hope you can see the uh, cheese there. Let's give her a try. Oh, pretty good. So one thing I didn't mention was this is Porter Road meat, which is always really good. They have great hamburger meat. Um, and the uh, How to Barbecue Right uh, steak seasoning is really good on these. I knew it would be, I've done it before, but always nice to, to taste that on a burger. Again, the uh, cheese oozing there. We'll try one more. So really happy with the way this turned out. Definitely try to do this, something different with your burgers. Tastes great, fun to do. Thank you for joining me again at Buckeye Barbecue. And do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate that support and we'll see you next time.